As consumers grapple with inflation, new data points show it may be slowing. Wholesale prices rising 9.8% in July compared to a year ago. But the bright spot, wholesale inflation fell 0.5% in July versus the previous month. As for the big picture, we bring in ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus and ABC's Zareen Shah with me now. So Alexis, prices still unusually high, Impl inflation cooling but not in every category. Who's still missing? Yeah, you're right. Not in every category for sure. First, just big picture on these two inflation reports this week. They're showing that inflation is decelerating. Let's not be fooled. Inflation still at elevated levels near four decade highs, but at least we're moving in the right direction. A big reason why we saw that deceleration in higher prices is because of energy. We saw gas prices come down quite a bit. They're now down, I think, 51 days in a row and now averaging a little less than $4 a gallon nationwide, but still we are all paying more for food at the grocery store, just down about every aisle you go. Also at restaurants, prices are higher and rent, which is a big a component of inflation. Rent prices are continuing to move higher. So not a lot of relief uh, for folks. This is broad based inflation, Deirdre. And Alexis, you've spoken about this in the past, but rent and groceries in particular, two things that people really can't budget on, I suppose a little bit with groceries, but not so much with rent. You may mentioned that price of gasoline coming down, a big relief to all drivers. Is it likely to stay lower? Well, we can hope, but you know, energy is a very volatile thing and a lot of different things can move them, namely hurricane season, which we're gonna be in the thick of pretty soon. Depending on the severity of that, we could see refineries pull back or shut down. That would take much needed oil off the market. Any geopolitical event could also impact uh, how much oil is on the market. So it's always a supply and demand game. Right now, a lot of drivers, especially in the US, are driving less, even though it is this busy summer driving season because of these higher prices. So for now, we're under $4 a gallon nationwide. I don't think I'd bet the house that it's going to stay that way through the rest of the summer. All right, Alexis. Thank you, Zareen. Bringing you in on the political angle, we heard President Biden say yesterday inflation is beginning to, quote, moderate. Polling has not been in his favor. How is this likely to play out, especially as we go towards midterms? Yeah, Deidre, listen to his exact words, though. Biden said there were some signs inflation may be beginning to moderate. So incredibly cautious with his words. He made it clear that there was still work to be done, that we're still far from over. And then he goes into talking about the global challenges, as if to say, look, I'm doing everything I can at home. There's still a whole world of possibilities out there, right? He mentioned the Ukraine war. He talked about the supply chain issues that still exist. And then he talked about the COVID-19 shutdowns that are still taking place in Asia, as if to paint a picture, look, in the months ahead, things still might be murky. Might, they, they're a bit unclear. So not exactly touting this as a win, but certainly not a loss, right? And he's sort of showing a sense of um, opportunity as well, telling the House that they need to pass the Inflation Reduction Act. Zareen, thank you. Alexis, thank you. Glad to have you both here. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.